Praise God, praise God. Good morning. I pray that you're all having a blessed day in the Lord. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God is good. Um, so basically, um, what I wanted to do is I want to talk about women preaching in the church. Praise God, praise God. And um, give me a moment here because I love that I have this. I have a um, a Bible. I have old. I have an old Bible. And the good thing about having old Bibles is that it, it explains things in a more, um, we're going to say, a, a, a clarification. And so if you really look at my Bible, it says the first epistle of Paul, the apostle to the Corinthians. Now, I'm going I'm to take this. Thing. That's what I love about these old Bibles. And, and y'all should try to search for some. It says, while at Infians, Paul heard of various troubles in the church at Corinth, he analyzed them one by one. This is very, very, very important. I want you to understand. He says he analyzed them one by one. That means that each church at Corinth had their own problems. Now, I want to hopefully I can silence this today, but there's always going to be ones that doubt. First Corinthians 14, 34 says, Women are to be silent. It says women are to be silent in the churches. They are not allowed to speak, but mo but must be in submission to the law says. All right. So, but I just said something because a lot of people say, well, a lot of women are, women are not supposed to preach. Well, who was Aquila and Priscilla? Not to mention Deborah, not to mention prophetess Queen Anna. I mean, there are so many women in the Bible that actually joined the cause. So, I, I, what I want to do is I want to bring biblical applications to the front. Again, what does it say? They analyzed, he analyzed, they had various troubles in the church at Corinth. He analyzed them one by one. He was talking to a specific church, you guys. And the, and that's one thing I love about this Bible. You see, if you look at it. It had it shows all what he did. He was talking about that they were a very large, busy, immoral city. So he wasn't just talking about one particular church. He was he was talking about cities. Come on, somebody. And he Paul urged them not to let their preference for various ministers obscure their primary loyalty to God. So everything he was talking about, he was talking about public worship, everything he was talking about, come on somebody, hallelujah, he addressed, come on somebody, hallelujah, even about how to have financial contributions. So those that don't like to tithe. So again, a lot of people, they take scripture out of context. And the reason why they do that is because they don't know biblical application. What is biblical application? You must know your Bible and understand what God meant. Just like, um, thou should not judge. Come on somebody. I, I got something for that as well. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna go to it. I'm gonna go to it because I, I was doing a lot of studying this morning. So I'm going to go to it. it it's going to blow your mind. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Praise God. Praise God. Okay, here it goes. First Corinthians, and I'm actually in chapter four. Now I'm gonna take you. We're gonna do we're gonna do, I guess we're doing a little Bible study. And he says, Verily, for verily I'm absent in body, but present in spirit, have already judged already. So if Paul can judge, how come the church can't judge? He said, As though I were present concerning him that had done this deed. So he was he was already judge, judging things. He said in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. So we are to judge, but not let, let's go, let's go to the um, chapter six. He says, dare any of you having a matter against another go to law before the unjust and not before the saints. <laughs> so you understand y'all go to a court of law, but we're really supposed to go to the saints. Do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? So I, I, I want to kill some of these rumors because I'm so tired of Satan taking stuff out of context and lying. This is scripture. We're going to go biblical. This is scripture. Do you know, do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? So what y'all talking about? Talk to me. What are you saying when you say don't judge? Are, are you saying, let me stay in my sin and you don't say nothing. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. 
We are supposed to warn each other. Now, hold on. I'm not saying we're supposed to judge each other to where, oh, you're going to hell and you're not going to be a good person. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying, let's stop taking scripture out of context. Let's love people back to life by telling them the truth. That's why people are dying right now without Jesus Christ. That's why people are in full blown sin because we are not telling them the truth in love, showing them scripture. You know, you got to, that's, I don't know if y'all notice how I've been teaching lately. I've been bringing you back to principles, which is scripture, because guess what? I can say anything and I can preach good all day long. But if I show you scripture, then maybe you are more prone to say, you know what? Wait a minute. That is God's law. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. So I wanted to get up on here and say that, but also every day, you know, church, we're in trouble. God has really been on me. I'm talking about like, I can't even explain the presence that's been over me. It's time for purification, consecration. I'm going to say that again. God says time for purification and consecration. Now you got to understand what that means. Back away from social media, back, spend some time with God an hour or two. I mean, think about it. If you want to go out, have fun do all that stuff. Cause I'm gonna be honest with you, the world and came and I'm going to tell you what he's, what he's doing. I'm gonna tell you what Satan is doing, how he's getting people through entertainment. Everybody want to have fun. Come on, somebody don't lie. Everybody want to relax. And I'm not saying that you don't have no, no time for yourself, but what I am saying is that we're supposed to be about our father's business. I don't know about you, but when I look at this same Bible, they didn't take no vacations. When I look at this same Bible, they preach, they teach, they reach 24 seven. As a matter of fact, 12, Apostles turned up this world upside down. We have 2.5 million Christians and we can't do nothing. The devil is a lie. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah to his name. So we have to be about our father's business. That is not talking about going around judging everybody, but we are supposed to judge the actions of each other. If you're wrong, you're wrong. If you're right, you're right. We all know wrong. We all know right. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But we're in trouble as a church. It's time. It's time to be serious. That's what I'm really saying this morning. Stop playing. Stop playing with God. Stop playing with your life. Stop playing with people. Tell people the truth. It's time to call that thing. If you know the person, it's time to call it out. Silence is killing people, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ. You're not saying that. Y'all talking about people behind their back, but y'all not telling them the truth. It's time to tell people the truth in love. It's time for you to get into your calling. Prophets, apostles, preachers, teachers, stop doing stuff behind the closed those because people talking about you don't act like people don't see you y'all know that's a big small world right you can go around the corner and think that you hide and somebody around that corner and they looking come on somebody hallelujah so basically that's all i want to get on here and say right now i have a lot to do today but i'm gonna keep you up in prayer um those that are actually going to take the class the prophetic class i just say get ready because i feel a special anointing on me like I I don't think I felt in a long time, truth be told, and I'm not just saying that because I I don't I don't try to spouse stuff up and you know try to make it sound no no I'm telling you what's gonna happen that class gonna be heavy that class gonna be heavy anointed and um I hope you're ready that's all I could say and, and anybody that's been under my teaching and I don't know why I do know why I'm saying that let me stop that um. And I have to say it this way. I have to say it this way. So please don't be offended of me. I'm not trying to call you out. But prophetess, I ain't going to say your name. I ain't going to say your name. Prophetess, you up on here. Um, You have not signed up for the class. You know who I'm talking about. We've had this discussion before. You are a friend. I know you personally. Um, It's time for you to sign up. You know who you are. It's time. Now, come on. Now, quit playing, God says. you. you yeah, I, I know you're busy and stuff, but you got you to gotta do what you got to do. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. All right, guys, I love you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. It's time for the takeover. It's time for the church to rise. It's time for the remnant to rise. Stop playing. Stop playing. Get in your position. Y'all know we were already battle ready. Nobody playing. So God bless you. God keep you today. Stay in the presence of God. Pray, people. Pray fast. Y'all push them plates back. Trust me. I like. To, I. I'm gonna say I used to like to eat because we're gonna we have a different confession. And I'm a chef, and and I've pushed that plate back. I, we got to fast right now. We got to pray. I'm telling you, things coming. <sighs> I know y'all like to hear it. New world order coming, y'all. Martial law coming, and we gotta prepare the people, whether you like it or not. And I'm going to do my job so y'all can get mad, get scared, because half of you scared. Don't be scared now. You weren't scared in the world. You weren't scared when you was doing how you was doing what you was doing. Them people here, y'all think it's a game? 
So God said, get everybody ready, mentally, physically, and spiritually. All right, God bless you. This is Apostle Dixon. Roll our soldiers, for that is who we are. God bless.